When you are searching for your keyword list, I usually categorize it in two groups. The first one is the one that's easy to download. The second is the one that takes effort to download. The first group is easy, I just download it right away. And the second one, I just keep it open in a tab. When I have, I think, enough of a keyword list in the different tabs, I look at five criteria to choose which one I should download. First is size. Size matters. You want as many keywords as possible. Second, time to download. How much time would you be using to download? It's a big difference between five minutes and five hours. Quality. If the quality impression is bad uh, and it looks like it's a list that's just taking an hour to make, it's probably stolen from somewhere else and then uh, then it will be more or less the same keyword, so it would not be worth the trouble. And that comes down to uniqueness. You want to look if this keyword list use look unique, if it's a special niche or something like that, so you could add keywords to your list uh, that the other lists don't have already. Then there's a language. Language is straightforward if it's in English, because then you have all the biggest lists there. But if you're making in a smaller language, you might only have like a few lists and they might be small and to uh, to get uh, and cover a lot of ground it might be worth the effort to find like a big english keyword list and then download that put it in google translator and then use that as a keyword list as well when i have all my list i usually do three things First, I've already downloaded all the easy to download lists. Second, I download the biggest list of them all uh, to cover as most ground and uh, mainstream ground as possible. And then I look for uniqueness. I want to have the niche list with unique keywords and uh, because I want to add extra. And uh, that is really important. So that's usually my steps.